greeting of the day my dear uh, fifth class students dear students in this video we are going to talk about adverbs uh, students it's very important for you to understand the value of adverbs and the use of adverbs right it's very important for us or for everybody so let's find out and let's um, discuss some important points first we need to take a close look here if we will if you will pay attention here you will see uh, that adverbs are words which modify verbs adjectives and other adverbs it's very important to understand it's just not a, a definition but it is very important to understand uh, the use of adverbs so it relates the use of adverb that we should you know take forward while making sentences so look at these sentences and then we'll try to understand this definition she is a very uh, she is a very good athlete she has won several races so in this sentence if you will pay attention here she is very very is the word which is modifying this one this is good which is an adjective right so an adjective is being um, modified with this adverb which is very right so as we have uh, and discussed here as we have um, seen here that and other adverbs or other adjectives right so yahan pe adjective modify ho raha hai with the help of adverb right the second one they are dancing too fast fast is the word like which is another adverb wo apne aap mein ek adverb hai fast but too is the word which is modifying that one it means yahan pe adverb ko adverb hi modify kar rahi hai is, is that clear so she was the next uh, the next one she was pretty hungry even after dinner so uh, so she um, she ate a midnight snack it means if you will pay attention to that sentence we'll find pretty modifies the adjective hungry hungry is a word like um, which is adjective which is uh, telling about uh, which is you know modif telling about the ni noun which is uh, you know um expressing noun so hungry is the adjective and the pretty is the word which is modifying that word hungry right my friends are always eager always is another adverb which is modifying that word eager which is adjective right students let's move forward and try to find out some other important things uh, as you can see here in the um, type of adver adverbs and examples so read the sentence that shows show the uses of different type of adverbs so adverbs first if we talk about type of adverbs so first we'll see adverbs of manner then right and it uh, sh manner show us how it means when we talk about adverbs of manner so it shows that how right so for an example the young man folded his clothes neatly and kept them in the suitcase so if you will pay attention there the work it means adverbs which modify verb either adjective or another adverb right so here we need to understand the young man folded his clothes neatly neatly is the word uh, and kept them in the suitcase neatly is the word which is describing the action which is modifying the action so the adverb of manner says how how did he do that neatly right so adverb of manner neatly adverbs of time shows us when it means when we talk about Uh, adverbs of time so it clearly shows us when it means for an example my parents have recently bought a car so when we talk about um, adverbs of time right so recently is the word which is you know the adverb and uh, which is you know modifying the verb right bought the next one adverbs of place shows us where when we talk about adverbs of place so it's very important to understand their uses and how do we use we went to the um, botanical garden and we went to the botanical garden and you know, there were pretty roses everywhere like right? everywhere so everywhere is the word which is you know sh showing us where i mean everywhere where was the roses every pretty roses everywhere i and uh, that is the word which is related which is modifying 
the action or the verb right adverbs of frequency show us how often when we talk about adverbs of frequency it means that how oftenly we go there we do that and all, all the other things or all the relative 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 work that we share so it it shows us how often yani ki frequency batata hai right so i i rarely eat junk food so if you will see there rarely you will see that word rarely and it is you know showing us it is telling us about the uh, the action that how often or how um, you know how often this action has been done so um, it means rarely very very rare kabhi kabhi right so that's about the uses of i mean type of adverbs and the uses students in this video i'm going to talk about this exercise also so i have done this for you if you will see here we just need to fill some adverbs there according to the sentence so muhammad clean the room neatly or nicely we waited uh, patiently in the dentist waiting room these all are adverbs of manner right uh, some of them you know have their different type but uh, most of them like that so daisy fell down and hurt herself badly so badly is another um, adverb of manner rahul unfortunately got to bring his project forgot to bring his project to school right so they went uh, they weren't very badly hurt uh, in the accident luckily so luckily is the another adverb that is modifying the word or action i haven't visited my cousins oftenly this is adverbs of num i mean frequency uh, the cat was lying on the couch carelessly and uh, the I mean, you can always also add here the cat was lying on the couch always, right? And the girl opened the door quickly. So these all are um, adverbs. Now we need to understand the uses of adverbs of degree. So adverbs of degree, students, um, uh, read this conversation. These are conversations, as you can see here, a boy and a girl talking and discussing something. So you will try. You will you will have some ideas if you will read. Uh, these conversations these um, statements so definitely you will have some ideas about it so um, uh, move along and i'll at last i would say the words hardly extremely quiet and very modify the verb adverb or adjectives used in a sentence they tell us the exact of uh, i mean extent of or degree of a verb another adverb or an adjective so they are called adverbs of degree the first one i'm going to talk about how will i enjoy the match i can hardly understand hockey so hardly is a kind of hardly understand so hardly understand relates to the adverbs of degree it means it's not uh, it's not easy for me to understand uh, because i um, i don't understand that so hardly represent hardly represent that adverbs of degree right i am extremely good at it i will explain everything to you extremely good now extremely is the word which is again um, adverbs of degree right so that's how you're going to relate them and now we have the next exercise which is b and what we need to do here adverbs of degree i'll share the exercise with you very pretty soon so formation of adverbs first you need to understand if we talk with if we have a word or action quick so we can add ly and then we can make quickly like using by adding ly to an ad, uh, adjective for example adjective is quick so quickly adjective is bold boldly foolish foolishly if an adjective ends with y and is uh, you know preceded by a consonant then the adverb is formed by changing the y to i before adding ly for example funny or if we have to make the adverb funnily so we have to remove that y and then we have to add y at last crazy 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 crazily right logic logically if the adjectives ends in ic remember these things these points or notes so these will help you to you know make a good adverbs a formation of adverbs so it's very important for you students to learn them very well okay these are the rules you just need to go through and definitely you will understand 
the next exercise from adverbs uh, from these adjectives write them in a notebook of what we need to do here yeah, what we have discussed in um, in in this video also so how do we make how do we um, you know make adverbs or frame adverbs sad i told you it's an adjective so we just need to add ly and it will become sadly humble humbly fast fastly tragic tragically simple simply and then ये जो रूल आपको यहाँ पे दिखाया दिख रहा है जो मैंने आपको पहले भी यहाँ पे समझाया है इफ इफ एन एडजेक्टिव एंड एंड इन वाई एंड इट्स प्रोसीडेड बाय अ कॉन्सनेंट सो अगर वाई से पहले कोई कॉन्सनेंट है तो तब आपको ये वाला रूल फॉलो करना है दैट्स वाई आई सेड दीज रूल आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो आई बिलीव यू विल यू विल इजिली डू दिस and complete this if you will face any problems any doubts so any time during the day you are free to call me you are free to feel uh, you can call me any time so in this video that's the that's all so thank you for watching the video students at last i would say don't uh, forget to sub, uh, you know don't forget to subscribe our channel and also like and share thank you have a great day